we were really, really good there last year, both uh, in the 14 and the 39, and just uh, got got caught a little bit behind, I think, this year, and definitely have some things to improve upon when we go back. It used to be, if you ran good at Pocono, you you had a good shot at running at Indy. So uh, I don't know if it's if it's really correlated, you know, the last couple of years with the new car, but. Uh, uh, you know the thing about Indy is that it's it's class smooth. I mean, it's got a couple little bumps here and there, but uh, you go to Pocono and it's very rough and bumpy. So it's uh, the, the setups are quite a bit different now. You know, we ran well there. Uh, Pocono's been good to us. I think we got a good setup to go back to and hopefully lead more laps and, and um, you know enjoy a good day. I think uh, that's that's a track where we can win at here one of these days, and hopefully it'll be this next time. Yeah, I thought uh, we struggled with the Miller Lite Dodge at Pocono. I mean, we, we ended up sixth overall at the end, but uh, we had to gamble on fuel, and we need to be better, what I've noticed, on bumpy racetracks. That's where we've struggled a little bit this year. Uh, Chicago is a bumpier racetrack for a mile and a half. Pocono is. Uh, Michigan is fairly smooth, and we ran well there, but just um, we really need to get the car to turn in turn one. That's uh, the bumpiest corner at Pocono, and we'll focus on that. We uh, tried something a little bit different in Pocono last time, and, and I wouldn't say it was as successful as we were last year there. So uh, we're going to change that up a little bit going back. And, uh, I, you know, I think we ran fairly well at Pocono, and I think we can improve on that. Um, it's one of my better tracks. You know, we run in the top ten there most of the time. So um, I'm looking forward to going back.